years. Welcome to mathematics class. Our topic is solving first degree equations with two unknowns, determinant method part two. And previous lessons part one of the determinant method, we discuss about the method of solving the determinant method. Now in this lesson, just I give you two examples. I saw two examples uh, of the determinant method. Example: Solve the following simultaneous equations by determinant method. Equation number one is 2x plus 3y is equal to 28, and number two is 3x minus 4y is equal to minus 9. The general final form of this equation is a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and uh, a2x plus, plus b2y is equal to c2. It means that this is a, b, and c. The, uh, co the coefficients of x is a, the coefficient of y is b, and the constant number is c. Now, for, for uh, solving for the x, For the x, what we do? We uh, in, in, into perpendicular uh, line. We draw a perpendicular line, and instead of the uh, coefficient of x that is two and three, we write twenty-eight c twenty-eight and minus nine, and. For the second one for the B, we write itself plus 3 or 3, the same, minus 4. And for the denominator, what we do? We write the coefficient of x that is 2 and 3, and the y that is 3n minus 4. Now, what we do, we solve these by the cross multiplication at this one with this one, 28 with the minus uh, 4, and this with this, like this, and cross multiply. And also for the denominator, same thing. This one and this two. First, 28. Twenty-eight times minus four minus in between them we will write the negative sign minus minus nine times three. And for the denominator, 2 times minus 4 minus 3 times 3, 3 times 3. Now from here, this equal to positive times negative is negative. 28 times 4 is 112. Negative times negative times positive is positive. 3 times 9 is 27. Over Positive times negative is negative 8. 2 times 4 is 8. And negative times positive times positive is negative. 3 times 3 is 9. The 
that's equal to minus 112 and plus 27 you can minus 85 over negative 8 plus negative 9 become negative 17 now this is equal to negative times negative is positive uh, 85 divided by 17 become 5 means that x is equal to positive 5 or 5 doesn't matter for positive if we write the sign or don't write the sign it don't make any difference x is equal to positive 5 or 5 now we solve the equation for the y y is equal to when we solve the x what we do we we write the c this one 28 and 9 and c of the coefficient of uh, a now for the solving the y we write the coefficient of y in x itself 2 and 3 and instead of the coefficient of y we write uh, instead of coefficient of y, we write the uh, 28 and minus 9. But for the denominator, it's the same thing. 2 and 3. 3 and minus 4 now we multiply this one this with this one this one with this this one with this one and say then this one and this one that is equal to 2 times minus 9 minus 3 times 28 but for the denominator uh, we can write this one or because these two denominators are same and instead of that we can write the simplified one of the denominator that is at the end that is minus 17 now this is equal to we can repeat this one or we can write the uh, the result that we solve for the first one in here Positive times negative is negative, 2 times 9 is 18, and negative, 3 times 24 is 84, over minus 17. Now from here, this is equal to? minus 18 and minus 84 become minus 102 over minus or negative 17 that's equal to negative times negative is positive 102 divided by 17 is equal to 6, positive 6. It means that the y 
is equal to positive 6 or S6 For these two equations, the value of x is positive 5 or 5 and the value of y is positive 6. Only the, and the, for the x, the seed of coefficient of x, we bring these numbers of c and for the y uh, is uh, the y uh, the y uh, coefficient for the denominator same thing not not any change right? from a uh, coefficient x so it's, uh, here and coefficient of y here now uh, number one and uh, number two under the number one and uh, the, the result is that x is equal to positive 5 and y is equal to positive 6. Example, solve the following equations by determinant method. Equation number 1 is 5x plus y is equal to 14 and equation number 2 is 15x plus 6y is equal to uh, 54. Now, first we solve for the x. For solving the x, what we do? Instead of the coefficients of y, uh, uh, x, we write the uh, constant numbers 14 and 54 and for the y itself the coefficient of y is 1 1 y and the x is 6 we draw two perpendicular lines here and the, in the denominator instead of the in the denominator, we write only the coefficient of x here, 5 and 15, and the y's 1 and, and 6. We draw these lines. Now, this is equal to, we, we multiply like this, cross multiply, multiply. This one is this like this is equal to 14 times 6 minus 1 times 54 And for the denominator, 5 times 1 minus 5 times 6, 5 times 6 minus 15 times 1. is equal to 14 times 6 is 84 minus 1 times 54 is 54 5 times 6 is equal to 30 30 minus 15 times 1 is equal to 15 
that's equal to eighty four divided by minus fifty four is thirty and thirty minus fifteen is equal to fifteen that's equal to thirty divided by fifteen is two. Two are positive two, doesn't matter. X is equal to two. Now we solve for the Y. Y is equal to and then and then X, we write the, the coefficients of X. Y then 15. And instead of the Y, we write the constant number that is 14 and 50. And for the denominator, 5 and 15, and 1 and 6. Now this is equal to, we multiply like this, this one with this one, with this, and this one with this, cross multiply. And this five times fifty four minus fifteen times fourteen. But for the denominator, because the denominator of a for uh, x and y is the same thing, 5, 15, 1, and 6, we can repeat, uh, the, the, uh, write this one, and or we can write the result. And the result for the denominator, the final result is 15. Now this is equal to 5 times 54 is 217. Minus 15 times 14 is 210. Because this is a simple multiplication, it is not necessary that we take our time to multiply this. You know how to multiply these numbers. Over 15 is equal to 270 minus 210 is equal to 60 over 15. 60 divided by 4, 15 is equal to 4. It means that the y from here the y is equal to 4. For these two equations, the value of x is equal to 2 and the value of y is equal to 4. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your family and friends. And please press the notification bell to get notified for more uh, videos. Have a great and wonderful days and nights.
बाय बाय